Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to update the software in your Garmin traffic receiver. A lot of people don't even know that the traffic receiver needs updates just like the Garmin GPS itself needs updates. Well, the traffic receiver has a firmware inside. That firmware tells it about the frequency at which the traffic information is being broadcast and also it will give it more accurate traffic updates, uh, I, I should say refresh cycles, because the traffic receiver, even though it is called live traffic receiver, it still it has few seconds or few minute delays. For example, if there is an accident on the freeway, immediately as the accident happens, this doesn't know that there is an accident. So it takes a minute for this to update itself and let you know on the GPS screen that you know what in the freeway that you're going to there will be an accident. That's why you need to update the traffic receiver software for it to be more up to date and to, for it to refresh itself much faster with the traffic information that's being broadcasted. Uh, so now we are learning how to update the software on this. Okay, so the way you update is this the traffic cable itself does not connect to, to the computer. So you cannot update this with a computer. So what you do is you update the Garmin GPS using this, uh, the method that I'm going to show you with uh, Garmin Web Updater. And then you select the traffic information, FM traffic receiver uh, software as an update. Uh, you check that box, which I'm going to show you, and you move on from that point. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the GPS that we have right now. It's a Garmin Nuvi 13, uh, I believe it's 1390. Yeah, Garmin Nuvi 1390. And this is compatible with my traffic receiver. So it has to be a compatible Garmin uh, for the traffic receiver that you're updating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this unit and the update file will also contain a file for the FM traffic receiver. To do the update, this I have to connect this to a computer. So I'm going to turn this off, completely off. I will unplug the cable and I will plug it in to the computer. Okay, so this is, oops, let me remove this. This goes to the computer and as soon as I plug it in, watch, this will turn on and it, you will see a little bar underneath and it shows a little PC in the middle, which means it is connected to a computer. And at this point, I'm going to switch the screen to the computer screen so you could see what's going on. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the computer screen. Now at the bottom uh, right corner of the computer screen, uh, you should be uh, right here, you should see uh, the detection of the Garmin as soon as the detection happens. So as you can see, right now, it's still loading and the Garmin bar is still, as you can see, is still not like there yet. So once the bar gets there, that's when it will start uh, doing the detection. So the, this, the, the whole pr uh, procedure I, uh, or the whole, the time of amount of time it takes this it would be about 30 to 40 seconds depends some on some units it will be much faster on some units it takes a good 30 to 40 seconds once the little picture of the little computer appears in the middle of the screen that's when the the PC will start detecting the Garmin GPS device so let's see for it to be detected there you go so now watch uh, right here you will watch right here the detection Garmin Nuvi drive F so now this wants to use uh, Garmin Express uh -uh, I don't want don't install close as a matter of fact I'm gonna close Garmin Express altogether I don't need Garmin Express Garmin Express is not the solution for my problem right click quit for my problem I need Garmin Web Updater. Garmin Web Updater, which you can get from Garmin. I'm, I'm gonna leave the link of where to download this at, in the description of this video. So I will double click on this. This comes and says, welcome, this and that. You click next. It recognized my Garmin 1390. 
click next get this update this that update is mandatory you don't have a choice I will show you what what is optional so this update will go through it will be very quick this will be less than a minute it says one minute remaining but it's not gonna be a minute it will be few seconds okay so now let me so now update is completed click next when you click next this first one is database for FM traffic providers this is the one that will update the um, the traffic receiver so I'll check this HD error code database firmware update firmware update this is another traffic receiver update firmware update for GTM XX GTM XX means where XX could be any number for example this could be GTM 25 GTM 35 GTM 60 any GTM with the extension XX or any number this is the update for that so uh, there are a lot of updates most of them are language updates like voice language this and that but I'm just gonna get the most important ones which are software updates no voice updates I leave all the voices alone and I click next so there are nine updates that are very critical which some of which includes the traffic receiver so this goes uh, very I mean it goes very rapidly and voila it's all done the update on the GPS is all done so I'm gonna click finish once I click finish I'm done with the PC I'm going to disconnect this from the PC okay we're through with the PC now let's go and see I, I'm gonna plug this into a DC source with a 12 volt DC source I have a car cigarette lighter in my desk basically the setup I have is as if it's as if I'm in the car make sure the battery is fully charged fully charged okay and for now I'm gonna just uh, put my USB power I'm gonna unplug the PC and I'll put the USB power for the for all the updates to basically go through so this will restart it, it will turn on and then it will restart a few times it will install all the updates the traffic receiver hasn't been connected yet okay this hasn't been connected yet it's only connected to the power but not connected to the um, unit yet so you know software loading this and that we have to wait for it it's loading all the software there you go loading the software and let's see still loading the software this uh, normally I would say the whole cycle I'm not gonna fast forward fast forward the video instead I'm going to give you useful information verbally uh, when you're doing this update make sure your battery is fully charged if it, your battery does not take a full charge it's defective or very old make sure it's plugged into your car cigarette lighter or any other USB power source um, because uh, if, if the if the software update faces a power failure because of a weak or defective battery your GPS unit becomes a brick it's not gonna work so that's the reason why you need to be very careful now I'm gonna go to night colors because uh, this is too bright settings display night okay so I went to night colors so you could see better now this unit will do a restart uh, in, in a few seconds I'm gonna pause the, the, the thing the video so right now it's installing downloaded content some features may not work properly until this until this installation is complete so I have to wait I can't use the GPS because installing the downloaded contents so I wait patiently for this downloaded contents to finish installation 
This should be very fast. I'm done. So now it's going to ask me for a restart. This device has been successfully updated. There are additional updates that require a restart to take effect. Would you like to restart now? Absolutely. I'm going to restart now. Remember, the battery on this is not good. So I have it plugged in to BGI USB 1 cable. The BGI USB 1 cable is the only cable that allows you to use the GPS with external power without having it go 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 what without making it go uh, go to the U, uh, USB sync mode or PC sync mode. That's why I'm not getting the PC sync. Otherwise, any other USB cable, even if you plug it into a battery bank, gives you the US PC sync. Okay, so the update is complete. The restart is done. Now it's time to plug in the traffic cable, right? Let's do it. We are unplugging. The regular cable and plugging in the traffic cable bingo and watch what you see receiver but it takes a minute but you will see the update uh, traffic software message uh, sometimes doesn't come uh, but uh, you just have to wait and then before you know it you will see uh, the updating traffic software uh, screen pops up and as you can see the percentage right now we are at 40 and now it's 50 and it's moving very quickly up jump to 60 it's jumping 10 percent at a time there you go we are now at 70 80 and it will go to 100 in no time traffic receiver soft software updated okay and bingo we are good to go the software is up to date and uh, now after a while of course after a few minutes you will see a green vehicle logo on the upper left corner uh, that will show you that your traffic receiver has been updated and whatnot so yeah basically it's uh, something that simple and uh, you could do that uh, in less than 10 minutes you could update the traffic receiver software all right. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.